We repeat, the flying gimp has been destroyed. You may return to your homes. I think you'll find that's manure. Uh, as you can see, I found some new audio files. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the LARP Book Show. Uh, my name is Stuart Edwards. For there is Robert Davis. And beneath me for there is, of course, the buzz of the Thomas of the Bee. How are you, Tom? How's Rob? Hey, I'm okay. Yeah. I wasn't expecting a flying gimp, but you know. No. <laughs> you what? The, 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 I wasn't the, expecting a flying gimp. No. <laughs> No one expects no my... flying gimp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I found some new audio files. So I don't know what the hell in it, you know? Uh, you should be have joining... any audio files, just send them to Stu. Good ones, please. <laughs> Luke, Luke should be joining us in a bit as well. He's had to travel for work. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's life, I suppose, and what have you. Uh, episode number 50, what are we in? 55, Five. by the way, for, what the hell is the date? I'm so prepared tonight. Yeah, 11th, 11th. Of July, 2017. Right, in tonight's show, we are going to talk about safety in LARPs. Now, this isn't the, your ordinary safety stuff. This is something a little bit different. Um so let me just get rid of the music a minute so we can talk about this all properly and everything and not over the top of things. Um, if you're watching our, on Facebook uh, throughout the show, uh, just type your comments in. We'll be able to see them and what have you, and we'll be able to respond to them. Any questions, just pipe up and we'll do our best to answer them. Right then. So um, if memory recalls, uh, Rob put up a uh, you, you put up a very good sort of article uh, about safety in LARP. So what that more boils down to is the physicality aspect of it, if I'm correct. Um, yeah. The whole kind of uh, if there's going to be combat, if you're going to be throwing someone up against, against a wall, if you're going to be carrying somebody, etc. Um, yeah. Whether or not A, it should be done, B, is it going to be done safely, C, D, and all the rest of it. Yeah. Um, so when we say combat, that... I, I wasn't talking about sort of lab weapon combat. I was talking more like really rough having somebody around to phone them down. Yeah. Um, so if you if if you want to sort of set set the stage, then Rob, and then we'll take it from there. Okay. A couple of things. So I've been in. Okay, I've been in some labs where it's not unusual to have somebody sort of physically pulled across a room, picked up, shoved against a wall, forced into something. Yes, you, Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. But the other end of the spectrum, I've had been to laugh, and people have tried, you can't do that, you can't physically touch or push anybody at all, no physical contact, but except for the medium of a latex sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it just strikes me that given how diverse laugh is, yeah, that there's probably better ways of doing the harder, more physical stuff. Okay, and better answers than no, you can't, because it might be dangerous. <laughs> now, I don't think it's appropriate all the time to do physical contact. Yeah, yeah. Like, for like for example, if you're somewhere like a big fest lab, let's take the Lauren Trust Ring as an example. A lot of families, a lot of kids, for seeing somebody sort of. Throw Push that around and knock him into the or hold him down on the ground. It's probably really bad for kids. So, yeah, can't really do that. That's a, so that's an appropriate. So it's got to be appropriate to the lab, but it's also got to be appropriate to the location. Like if you're in somewhere very dangerous, like yeah. you know, So I mean, I mean, as you as you as you cite in the article, um, being on the edge of a cliff for for instance, and pushing yeah. someone around uh, probably isn't a good Stupid. idea. Stupid. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But there's also been, uh, there's also other areas, you know, you're talking, you get into areas like physical int intimidation. How do you actually get people to actually manage this safely or well? Because you don't really want to hurt anybody. And then it, yeah. it also drops a little bit into the aspect of all oh, different types of lap. Like you've got some laps that are purely bashing somebody over the head of the buffer, some yeah. laps that are, that are purely about conversation. And then, and therein lies every other possible 
engenderment of life in between, and some lapses is really appropriate for. Some lapses makes it like, for example, when we went at Fairweather Manor, it, that's a no physical contact rule. Yeah. Rather, you it's physical contact is allowed for intimacy, it's allowed for making an emotional point, but you're not allowed to sort of physically pretend to do shifty cuffs, fifty cuffs or do anything appropriately vile. At that point, it's a meta technique for stopping action there and then. You know, unless of course you're actually running a boxing match. Well, that was uh, entire. That's in fact fine. It was an in-game how to do boxing tutorial. Well, so that that was actually worked within the context of the game, but it wasn't actually violence. It was. Yeah. It wasn't like say one of the um, nobles violently abusing one of the, one of the servants. No, or vice, right. or vice versa. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, then let's let's sort of let, let let's take this a little bit in stages then. Okay, um, let's let's kind of break this down. There's just a little bit, and we'll discuss uh, each each sort of aspect of things. So, normal UK. Let, let's let, let's focus on UK first of all. Normal UK LARPs. Then they are uh, combat by latex, uh, by latex weapons, uh, basically. Everybody, yeah, yeah. Except for the airsoft, you know, there's lots of various, but there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of there's a lot of LARPs. The combat apart, and it's always through a type of weapon. Yeah, through a type of weapon, not and not actually actually a physical thing. Now, um, now if if we move further afield and let's go to you know the some of the Europe LARPs, Scandinavian LARPs, etc. I mean, they they have ones that are are purely physical. You know, oh, yeah. they are they are you know you when you sign up, you know that basically this is Fight Club. Uh, end of yeah. Well, I wouldn't uh, go far say Fight Club, but it's it's going to yeah, be. More but you know what I mean. But you know what I mean. Yeah. It, it's far more physical. You know, and in fact, they do have full-on, full combat laps. So on that one, yeah, I'd say that's bloody well Fight Club. You know, in in, in my mind. Um, yeah, and I've also and I've also uh, seen things like pole weapons made of wood with tips, latex tip spears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the really. <laughs> yeah, someone's uh, out. a giant piece of wood. I'm I'm going the other direction. Oh. If you take that one direction you mentioned, Stuart, we, we had a contact from Sweden. Uh, we put this post, we put up this post to try to get some feedback up in Lapa's BFF on Facebook. Okay. One of the feedbacks we have was that there are people there. This is, this, this is from Scandinavia, okay? Yeah. In Sweden. And they train people pre-game. They workshop how to do how to do physical handed stuff. Okay. Which is good. Which is good. I like I like workshopping and training. Yeah. But they also have mechanisms for resolving the combat between the players because the weapons they use in the game. Yeah. And you're gonna you're gonna love this and Tom's gonna lose some beard. Um they they're not latex. So if somebody pulls a knife, they pull a knife. If they pull a bit of two by four with nails going through it, they pull a bit of two by four with nails going through it. But there's a technique for handling what's going to happen without anybody getting hurt. But there, there, there is a, there is an allowance for actual rules to handle a, a more physical type of lap. Now that's at a more extreme end to the people in the UK going, "You can't touch." <laughs> look, at, look at Busby. He's, he's like stuff. That I'm not I'm, going there. I'm yeah. just thinking because people get excited during a lap, and if someone jumps you, like, oh, it's instinct. <laughs> And if you've got a giant two by four and someone jumps you, you're gonna swing. They get it doesn't matter what rules. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna risk that. I wouldn't wanna risk that. You know, I'm not gonna be going to where was it, Sweden, did you say? <laughs> oh, come on. That's okay. Then I'm then I'm 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 sorry, Tom, but you now have to lose the beard because you're not man enough. It's as simple as that. <laughs> well, like, I'm not How? stupid enough. <laughs> That part of being a man, that's part of being a man, boy. <laughs> you got to be stupid. Yeah. This is why women live longer, mate. Come on. You know, it's great. <laughs> well, yeah, you got me there. You got me. There. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, okay, let, let's, so let, let's have a chat then about some of the ways that we've discovered some of these things uh, yeah, can be. Now, now, there, there was one I was looking at, which was um, the way one system does it is depending on your your level of should be um, physical prowess then, if you want yeah. to use that, that other word, or your, your skill level, before combat actually starts, um, you either grab a, 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 was it, um, a wrist, 
a wrist, an elbow, or a shoulder, right? right. Now, yeah. this is basically, if you grab a wrist, you are at level one, um, or your character can fight at level one, right? right? Level two, level three, right? Now, you both basically have to do that. So if I, for instance, grab Tom on the shoulder, I, I'm a level three fighter, mm -hmm. yeah? He goes, crap, I'm actually a level two. He'll grab my elbow, right? We know that in the course of the fight, I'm coming out on top. Right. right? Oh, okay. And okay. We role play the fight. You, know, you, role had... play, you role play the whole grappling, wrestling, fighting thing. Uh huh. But, no, but, but, but by the end of it, this, the, the, the one with the highest score wins. Right. Yeah. Right. So you can do the physicality part, um, you know, in that respect, but you know what the outcome is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now it must get very interesting. <laughs> if both people, you know, touch shoulders, it's like, crap, are we going to work this one out? But, you know, there, there, there is some sort of mechanism there for doing that. Um, okay. And so let's see. Uh, Natalie, hello. Mark, Andre, hello. Nice to see you in, in the room. Uh, give us a wave. I'm not quite sure how you do that in Facebook, but give us a wave. <laughs> how, do you know? how do you know who's in the room? I, I can see it. It says uh, Mark Andre Dumont joined. Natalie Jones joined. Dude, I can't see anything. Nah, I'm going to have to take your word for it. Yeah. It's okay. So, Stuart is running the room tonight. I'm we running the to, room. We have to trust Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> May God have mercy on oh your soul. We've got 400 people in here. I'm only kidding. Um, the, <laughs> so, so, yeah. So there's, 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 there's different ways that we've, we've seen um, how yeah. that can be done. Um, so yeah, uh, for me, yep. if, if there's physical combat involved, yes, I completely agree with Rob. Uh, there should be a workshop beforehand, Ooh, right? Yeah. And for that workshop, I would say contact either your, your local drama people or what have you that have got, yep. uh, fight choreographers or, uh, people that can actually do stage combat uh, so I'm sure you do it safely failing that um, local uh, yeah. martial arts clubs etc will also be able to show you how to fall nicely pretend to hit etc that sort of thing you know they, they, they should be able to at least get that going um, but I would say yeah start and start start small start small work your way up mm. um yeah so um you've asked me a question in there now and and okay uh <laughs> well, actually, i asked tom so he could answer and you could talk because uh, well, as well <laughs> tom hasn't seen that so <laughs> oh i didn't know i wasn't uh I, i'm i'm i've clicked on the video yeah yeah I, I'm, I think I'm in chat. I clicked on the video and it's got the oh. video up. And then on the right, it's got like LARP book and you can see like, comment, share and all yeah. that jazz. But nothing's updated because it's Facebook. Maybe, maybe I'm just a special one. I don't worry about it. Special one. <laughs> special one. Oh God, special one. Yeah. I'm special. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, I, I, for me then, yeah, the safety aspect of it is is get trained and get trained by doing the workshop. And now, mm. You know, if the if the LARP is not running a workshop, and I really think that a lot of LARP should start doing this, um, even in this country where it may just be latex weapon, you know, physical combat, uh, I still think workshops should start being run because we've all we've all been at LARPs. We've got that one idiot that hasn't got a clue. Um, well, it's, yeah. not this, it's, it's not just that. If, if you take away from that sort of physical part, you know, physical intimidation, physical bullying, pushing people around as part of the game. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's fine in the right game. In fact, in some games, if you haven't got it, it just loses its edge completely. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't like to think of a horror lap where the villain, with a particularly nasty, unpleasant, ruthless person you do not want to talk to in a dark night down an alley. Doesn't do something nasty, and you've resorted to a few bit name calling. <laughs> you wouldn't nasty have... person. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't have the same impact. No, no. But I hold mean... you against the hold you against the wall and put a nice few foot. 
Yeah. I mean, is it is it possible for like the bigger laps with the thousands of players going to do a workshop? Yeah. I mean, well, for that many people to make sure well, that everyone, you know, is. I, I, well, well, yeah. well, yes, well, well, yes, right. But they would, I, I, I would say that they would have to, you know, give it as an optional extra, right? Uh, most people that do go along are quite fluent with a lot of things, and it's mm. not really drama, yeah. But you are going to have, you know, the percentage of first-time lapers or whatever, yeah, mm -hmm. um, that have never done it before and, and would actually like a little bit of guidance, you know, yeah. and not just and not just from their mate. Uh, who's been once, you know, or, so or, uh, or never been, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, he, I mean, here we are publicizing lap, trying to talk, talk about it, trying to get people to go to the hobby. Somebody goes to a, a fest lap, say, I'm mean, just go with fest lap, they're big and impersonal, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. So they are, you know, lap is everything from two or three people up to a couple of thousand. Was it five, six thousand in the case of Dragon Fest? Something like that is ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? It's, 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 you know, it's, it's, I, I think we should go. Oh yeah, one day, one day we will go to the ball, Robert. One day, <laughs> All right, next year. We're going to, we're going to go to Dragon Fest next year. Yeah, okay. All right, then let, let's. <laughs> no, don't do that, Robert. Okay. Let's, um, yeah. let's move okay, from... But let's go to like a big fest lab. You can't train everybody in one go. There's going to be a lot of brand new people there, but there should be some way of helping people out. On okay, on one end you've got uh contact with, with lap weapons. I mean, first of all, with people, lots of people going to lap who've never, ever had any contact with lap at all, ever. I mean, it's one thing when we started where lots of people were going for the first time. Most of the group was all newcomers and everyone yeah. learned together. Mm, mm. That builds a nice camaraderie, but now you've got a lot of people and some newcomers, and how are they supposed to learn? Mm. So you're going to need some assistance somewhere. That's yeah, I mean, I mean that's oh. why that's why when we did Balrog, right? Luke yeah. and I, if you remember, would always run a little workshop. Yeah, you did, and that's how I learned. Yeah, with yeah. Luke, we would always run a little that's workshop. You know? Right then, who, who wants to discover how to batter the crap out of people? You know. Yeah, <laughs> and it was really helpful for me. It, yeah. it was really helpful for me because I had because I that was the first time I ever went to LARP. And I had a general idea, but I didn't see it. In, I haven't seen it in practice, and I haven't actually done it myself in practice. And it was ways to get, and, and Luke and yourself gave me tips on what to do um, and how to be safe while doing it. And obviously, just to be prepared yourself, and, it, and it's great. And you guys, with these big festival things, you're saying it's an option, right? Well, what about the, that it's a requirement? Because an option means you can take it if you want to, right? But yeah. Some people might, no, I don't want to do it. No, I don't want it. And he, they're that person on the field, whacking yeah. heads. That's dangerous, right? It's dangerous. Is it? Oh, yeah. Sh in, 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 you know, in, in a massive, in a massive LARP, right? I mean, it, it's, 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 it's always going to be an optional extra. Yeah. Right. It, and that's just you, nothing you really do about that. That's just down to logistics. If they don't want to avail themselves of it, then, you know, what can you do? Um, but there we go. Uh, and just like to have a little bit of a quick uh, shout out a minute. Uh, hello, Toby. Hello, Claire. Nice to see you uh, watching us live. You know, give us a little bit of a wave. You know, I think Claire's already done that. Thanks for that. Yeah, nice clip. <laughs> um, the uh, okay. So let 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 let's just take this another kind of step forward, right? Now, Rob, um, myself, Luke. Uh, a number of others, we know what our physical limitations are and what we can get away with with one another when it yeah. comes to physicality. Yes. I mean, I know Luke can probably lift me up and slam me to the floor. Yeah. Yep. Safe. Yeah. I know Rob has picked me up and thrown me, you know, um, which is pretty impressive, you know, considering. Yeah. You know, okay, back then I, I I was as skinny as you, Tom. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that I am now, but still, still lifted me up and threw me mind. So, um, so so we we know what we can get away with. Um, I'm trained, okay, because you know I've I've done stuff with you know with um, combat schools and, and all the rest of it, you know. Um, so I, I'm trained, so I know how to fall. I know how to make things look worse than they actually are as well. 
you know. Yeah. Um, so if I'm being slapped around or punched in the face or kicked in the groin, you know, uh, I know, how, you know, or, or of course being dragged by the hair uh, when I actually had hair, uh, et cetera. I know how to make that look a, a, a whole lot worse. In fact, we did um, uh, a workshop for the pirate festival last year mm. yeah for, for their for their fight uh which came off pretty pretty well you know because and again that's practice 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 yeah 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 but yeah so but if it's like a one-on-one let's say you know you and i for instance tom you know actually have you know a, a physical grapple or something like that now I, I won't know because I've never fought you in that way. I won't know what your limitations are and what have you. We would probably have to come up with a safe word. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. Yeah. Banana hammock, banana, banana. hammock. Um, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so right, let's let's yeah. let's kind of workshop this then. Um thoughts on how to make this type of thing safe. Well, I mean, I think you've come across a very important thing that knowing who you're fighting. So, for example, that's a lot easier in the smaller laps, as you were saying, you know, the people around you. And as you continue to lap, um, you know, they, like you said, you learn what they can and can't do and what people are comfortable with and not are not comfortable with. Uh, yeah. For example, um, I for, for myself, I don't do very physically physical laps the laps i go to you can't shield charge you can't you know you know do anything like i mean you can pick them up but as long as it's like jokingly and you know like i mean for example luke at balrog um he would regularly pick up uh funny enough mainly re but (laughs) but he knows that she's okay with it and she know and she always knows it's coming um no matter what (laughs) um so knowing that and and yeah, it, it, it's knowledge of that because I had a really good fight uh, with a friend of mine called Keith. Keith, uh, we went to Twilight Realms, and yeah. it got to the part we were fighting. You know the usual star stuff with douche, douche, douche a thing, and it got to the part where me and him were both out of hit points. And for me, I don't know if it's the same with you guys, probably. But when I'm down with the hit points, okay, I don't just immediately go like that no when i hit low hit points i start doing like the really groggy so like swinging but knowing full well i'm not gonna hit anyone so it's like ugh, you know like that so we started yeah. doing that yeah. and then it's we start we the desperation blows yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah exactly and we both threw our weapons on the floor and then we both kind of just went into slimy fist fighting kind of thing and then headbutting and it ended up him on top of me with a dagger in my chest um which was nice um, Keith on top of you any time is nice. Um, uh, <laughs> but I knew I could do that with him and he knew I could do that with me because we both know each other. And stuff. Yeah. so in a smaller LARPing, that is easier because you can talk to people and you know that. Whereas like you, like you guys with, with the big LARPs, I mean, is it at all possible to do something like that? Is it, you know, safely able you are you safely able to do that at all with someone you don't know that will depend on what uh scheme is involved then um with how to handle physical combat if Mm. you're going if you're going into a larp that has physical combat there has to be a rule base you know in 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 place first of all and everybody kind of must agree to it, whether or not yeah. it. Um, you know, we've we've we, we've seen ones where they tell one another what they're going to do, so they can role play it. For instance, yeah, That's uh, fine. You know, uh, we we had that at, at at one game. I think Rob, I think it was a, I think it was a Fear the Dark game years and years ago, where um, I had to get quite physical with someone from uh, Punched Havens. Um, mm. who came. Um, and we basically sort of said, right, here's what's going to happen, blah, 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 you know, and then we role-played it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we kind of knew what was what was going to happen in, in that respect, but, you know, it, it was quite physical. With me being thrown down a bank, as you do. Um, so, yeah. 
I am learning that you get thrown about a bit, Stu. Quite it's, a lot. It's 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 a hobby. Um, <laughs> it seems to be a pastime of people liking to throw me about. I don't know what's. I, I, I don't know what it is. No. Maybe you're aerodynamic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just bounce well now. I'm not quite yeah. sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think that comes from the the intimacy thing we're talking about. Where people know what other people can do. Because once you know Stu well enough, or you know anyone well enough, you know, can you throw that person to, well, what happens when that person, can they, can they land? Is it, is it, is it one you, you need to know? Can they land? And I happen to know, and so do quite a few other people, that Stu can land. <laughs> yeah. Well, but not necessarily on his feet. Yeah. No. Yeah. But that comes from knowing people. So this comes back to if it's a small intimate game, people know you can you can improv a lot more because you know what the other person can do. Like yeah. Stu knows that if he if that Stu knows that I, that I can land as well. Yes. Because I've had years of practice and martial arts training and I can hit most services with very little very little hurt, harm. In fact I once yeah. I think I once fell down almost a mountainside and people going, Oh god, he's gonna die. No, no, no oh What's that? You're dead. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm just, I, I'm both playing an injury here. Go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, Rob's had many years practice falling down through over uh, things. So, yeah, he's, he's quite a dab hand at it. Um, the, but, okay, let's, let's, let, let's kind of think what other, what other scenarios then, or what other sort of situations okay. do you think of? Okay. Let's, let's go for intimidation. Let's That's go for the, the intimidation scenario, mm-hmm. right? Um, I mean, it's a pity Luke isn't here yet, and I've had to turn my phone off, so I don't know if he's calling me saying, can I get in? Um, or what have you, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Luke is always very good because of his physical size, yeah, um, of, of the intimidation thing. Um, so uh, with him, yeah, that that is gauging that person's reactions and looking into their eyes and seeing whether or not this is really uncomfortable for them or the role playing really uncomfortable. Um, I mean, with, with me and him, yeah, he knows that he can, he can push that envelope uh, quite far uh, before I get upset and um, punch him in the face, but (laughs) you know, um, and Rob as well. I mean, I mean, when when Rob explodes, it's it's really is a volcano going off, you know, no no messing. Um, so yeah, how do you handle? Is is that again something where you have to have a rule based system put in place and a keyword, or you I know, there's always has to be an out. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. Agreed with always that. have to have an out. There, oh, there always ha- I think there always has to be consent. There always has to be an out. And if somebody's really uncomfortable, they have to have a way out of the game and a way out of immersion. Yeah. You know? yeah. I like I like the I like the idea of games that have like a, 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 a chill room where you can just go, games getting a bit intense. Now. I'm just going to sit down over here for like half yeah. an hour, have a cup of tea, figure out what's going on. You should have some place like that, I think. Because it doesn't matter what LARP you're playing, whether it's um, light-hearted or whether it's, you know... Um, yeah, horror or, or fantasy or sci-fi. I feel that everyone gets a point where they just like, oh, I just need a break. I just need away from this just to relax. And I think every lap should have a place like that. Yeah, no matter what. I know there are ones there are twenty-four hours and stuff like that. But even them, I think most of them have a cool out place. You know, yeah, yeah. You... And, there sh- and there should be. Yeah, and is that a look I see before me? It is. It is. It's a look. It's a look. One second. Let me just. I'll. 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 I'll add them in. In a moment. Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? We'll be able to see you soon as well. So curl the line caller while I add you to things. Marvelous, marvelous. You're a little spotty, but you just let you know on, on the audio, but you know it's it is what it is. Yeah. So we let let me send that to live so that, that'll update the stream. Dim, 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 dim. <laughs> Claire, Claire saying someone's a drama queen. Who's 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 the drama queen? Drama queen, Claire. Let let us know. <laughs> Probably Luke. Yours is. Yeah. No, no, I don't think Luke was there for that. It's going to be me or Tom or you. 
Probably. Oh, come on. Well, what? I see that Luke is is lagging behind. He's probably going to answer a question from about a minute ago. So this yeah, could, this could get interesting or well, funny. The thing is, though, if he's got the audio, if as long as he's got the audio, that's okay. We can just ditch the video if need be. I don't know how how we can. I I don't know how to do it on this system. I don't know if you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's good now. I think he's good. I think he's caught up. Have Have you caught up, Luke? Yes, I, I can hear you, Tom. Yeah, so I think the uh... oh, that yeah. connection is a bit bad. See, the, see, the see if video you get the is working. Yeah. See if you get the dongle at the window, mate. Yeah. I mean, you would have dongle. thought that the internet would be slightly better in uh, London. Oh, yeah. yeah. London, yeah, a hotel room. room I, I can fantastic. hear everything you're saying, but your video is poor. Yeah, well, your audio isn't great, so... Yeah. I already have. <laughs> oh, that's good, then. Uh, <laughs> See, he no, is... I'm on 4G. He is literally answering a question for a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in 1897. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a very nice hotel room you've got there. But... Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so, so let's, let, let's quickly go back. Where the hell were we? Uh... Um, <laughs> I think we were talking about LARPing. Yeah, oh. definitely LARPing. Mm, mm. The, um, so, so, so anyway, Luke, we have been discussing... Um, basically sort of different sort of uh ways of doing physical i mean actual physical combat in labs <laughs> and now he's Bug gone it off. Off. Bug it uh, <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> uh, uh, doing actual physical combats in in, in labs uh, and how you could get you know get around things we'll see if he comes back oh i remember it was the out we needed an out oh yes uh, yeah it. it always needs a right now whether or not that's that's again a safe word, a safe phrase. You mm-hmm. know, for instance, uh, Fairweather Manor had think of the family, and that was a, a like a safe word to mean like things are getting a bit ooh, chill out. Right? Yeah. Um, then that worked yeah. quite quite well in that in that respect. Uh, so something similar could be used, you know, in 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 a physical uh, LARP as well. Uh-huh. Where you could have a phrase that someone said means they're they they're not comfortable with this, you know. Chill action. Yeah, I think it's important to have something like that. Whether, like you said, whether it's a phrase or or, or an action or or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I think we said at the start that um, a lot of labs lay out what's going to happen beforehand. So, for example, yeah. if you go into a very physically intense. LARP that'll tell you beforehand so you know there, there is like that's what you're going to have to be prepared for well, yeah. well you'd, hope, you'd hope so but if you look at the adverts for LARP not always that clear no you are right you are right not all of them are clear and normally the only way to find out what a LARP is truly like is to ask the other players that have gone you know it's not like um, there's a massive description about you know, what is completely entailed. Because obviously it's an advertisement, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's an advertisement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Alex, nice to see you join us, mate. How's things, buddy? Hi, Alex. Um, so, so yeah, it's... Mm, I, I see it. I don't know. I, th- I think just if if something is sort of come up with, whether it's a safe word, safe phrase... Um, a, a gesture, a movement, like you know, um, tweaking someone's—I don't know, right? <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah, uh, yes, right. Yeah, aha, uh-huh. there he is. He's back again. We hope. I'm not so hopeful. I think he's uh, 4G isn't as good as we thought. Is there is there, is there a possible uh, Luke? Is there a way you can actually kill your video but leave your audio? Maybe that'll help. I don't think yeah. there is. Even though how beautiful you are and what have you. Um, oh. I, 
Yeah, but it's really bad. No. Yeah, it was like a frozen look. Oh, well, well, we'll just have him next time, right? I mean, it's his fault that he decided to work, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just <laughs> not like... For his family. <laughs> not like we sort of pre-posted all this, so we, you know, he, he knew what day we'd be doing it all on and what have you, but, you know... Should he, you know, just because he decided, I know, I'm going to swan off to, to London here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. He could have gone up after the show, let's be honest. He could, he could have driven up then. But, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> the, um... Uh, 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 uh. Yes, it is shocking. You are quite correct, dude. <laughs> the, um... Right, so let's 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 go back before he completely derails us. The so a safe phrase, safe word, safe movement, safe whatever, as long as that's well established. And I think it should be up up to the 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 LARP organizers to make sure that those sorts of things are drilled into you know everybody that's playing. Yes. Um, yes. And and read the rules, read the rules. No one likes reading the rules. We know that, right? But yeah. read the rules. Now, now, that's something we had a comment on, because in the original article, yeah, I put, I put on a section. Look, it's, no. it's off, mate. It's off. <laughs> this is professional right here. Yeah, it's, you know, look, what look, you would expect from love. Hang on. Look, if you can't, if you can't hear us, if you can't talk to us properly, look to the right hand side of the screen. There's a private guest chat. He's got it. He's he's found it. He's found it. It is. It's it's off, Luke. It's off because I'm doing a show. I turn it off. Even though it has got a fantastic. Uh, Thing that you can get from the shop, by the way. What the so. hell is cook bar? Oh, because I haven't swapped it round, all right? <laughs> You've gone again, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you possibly you might. Okay. You know, I'm going to so actually what? go on. I'm just going to push it back to the three of us. <laughs> yeah. Look so fed up on the street. Okay. So we well, were look, hope, we were hoping to have our resident uh, uh, safety expert uh, in with us tonight, who does this sort of thing for a living. But no, we he had to bugger off to London. Um. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah. no. Right. So, what else can we talk about? Okay, a couple of things. Yeah. First of all, we keep saying about we keep, we keep talking about rules and rules mechanisms. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, and one of the things I put in the article, which a few people have picked up on, is people don't always understand or read the rules. Uh, I think that's something that has that is an issue because yeah. let's face it, not everybody goes to a game to read and read the rules beforehand. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Hands up, hands up now. Be honest, be honest. For ev all the LARPs you've gone to, every single LARP, have you read the rules for every single different one? Uh, not all of them, no. Stu, have you read a rules for one lap? <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> I did glance through the one for Fairweather Manor. Yep. The glance. Um, the um. Oh, what was it? What? what uh, oh, the I can't even think of the word. Brain. Oh, do, you mean, do you mean the guide on how to be a good servant? That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the guy on how to be a good servant, and then yeah. wanted to rewrite it, but that's just me. Uh, yeah. It's like, yeah. uh, the, there's a few things in there. I was like, no, no. Yep, but that was based. That was based on an old text originally, so it's fair. That was fair on both sides. No, but it was uh, very, very well, very glossy, very nicely put together. Yeah. It was lovely. In the room and what have you. So that's about the only one that I kind of read. Um, all the other, all the others, Laurie and Trust, Balrog, Fear of the Dark. Um, <laughs> Hang on, you can't count Fear of the Dark in, in not reading the rule book. 
Yeah, because it wasn't one. But because yeah, it isn't one. There, there is no rule book in that game. There are no rules. No, no rules. Um, but if, okay, Balrog, Elorian Trust. Yeah. When... The majority of LARPs have rules, don't they? So, well, not not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Actually, this is a great one because a lot of the combat, a lot of the fantasy laps have tomes. See, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, um, but if you look at a lot of the freeform laps or the UK of the UK freeform or the Nordic laps or some of the German stuff, yeah, they have like roulettes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what it should or be. No, or no rules, and that's that's how it should that's how I prefer it to be. Well, I'm, no, this I think there's got to be rules, but not like tomes, like you said. You yeah, know? I mean that is that is. Yeah, and it's all, it's not, it's, it's, it's not going to be relevant to all players. So people are yeah. going to skim, and they're going to throw bits away immediately. So immediately, people aren't going to read properly. As soon as as soon as it's big, no way everyone's going to read properly. Mm. Secondly, people are going to forget because people are going to get hopefully emotionally immersed and not be rem- remembering rule 363A. Exactly. <laughs> 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 paragraph C. You know? Yeah. Um, and, and right, I, I usually find it's the LARPs that have magic in them. Okay. The that... We're going to have to. Okay. So <laughs> let's split up what we're to class. So, because rules, there's a broad amount of things under rules, right? Now, for me, um, when I say rules, I'm talking more about health and safety rules, okay? Not this spell does this, because they are they, they're under rules as well. Obviously, magic does this, yeah. and this, and this, and under that. But if they could make health and safety rules, like no physical contact, or if there is physical contact, only shield barging, no shield hitting, or anything like that, in a in a paragraph, a few bullet points right by there, I yep. think that's what they should do. You know, yep. first thing that you see, big highlighted, right in there, we right yeah. there. I mean, obviously, I, all the other rules you can. I agree. I agree with that. Um, that yeah. There is, a, however, unfortunately, a small caveat. Yeah, in the sheer fact, right? It's the whole stupidity complex, right? You put a list of things you can't do, yeah. But however, for instance. No one's actually written in the rule book. You cannot stab somebody in the eye with an arrow. All right. <laughs> Seriously, right? So then, then it happens. You go, well, it wasn't in the do- or you can't do it. Yeah. No, I know those. Right? Yeah. This is always sure. the, always the problem. You, you know, if Luke happened to be on uh, and in a, a sensible place and had good internet, you know, he'd tell you that you cannot try to put this all into a nice little neat box because no matter how many things you think of somebody will think of 30 other things that are so yep. stupid it's ridiculous yeah yep. yeah yeah so you what cannot is... you cannot legislate for stupidity well no but so what is the solution then you don't put anything down you just say use common sense you i mean there's got to be That's... some rules you know i'd be surprised i mean Odd enough, the lap I feel probably safest at, I just got to know because I, I know that all the players and refs very, very well. Well, I've been playing with them for like well over 20 years, is Fear of the Dark. Okay. Yeah. Let me give you the rule system for Fear of the Dark. Okay. Tumbleweed. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like if we call a timeout, the game's over. Oh, so if we call a game out, if we call a timeout, we need, we need you to stop for a reason. If we call a man down, it means somebody's injured. Beyond that, it's pretty much common sense. If you need to push somebody to get around, yeah, you can do that because everybody knows that that's part of the game. Yeah. If you need to fight somebody, you can do staged, slow, dramatic style combat. That mm. everybody understands that. But there's not a rule for that. It's just kind of written the underlying context of, of the of the game. So, if I want to generate a character, there is no system for that. I have to think. I have to design a character, then negotiate it with the refs, and then they'll say, yeah, that's great. Or, no, 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 you can't have all that. Don't be silly. <laughs> AK, what are you talking about? Pen? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I, I'm looking at a different screen, I suspect. So I just said an AK, you can't have that. Yeah, so I, yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> I think what I was doing is thinking. Stuart, you think you're what I, I think you're thinking. 
Well, we may have done that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we may have borrowed one. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, the it's it's difficult. It's see this this is this is always the problem I, I have when we when we we think about and start talking about these sorts of things is the sheer fact if you're going to put like you know do's and don'ts, um. Be careful of the ones that are going to be the don'ts, you know. Yeah, uh, Luke, are you are you trying to come back again? But I, I think he's just decided to join the actual Facebook link. He's just going to watch it. I think. Okay, that's he's fair. Back in you as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know, like, what more can be said about it, though. I mean, essentially, it's like. You can do rules, but you can get twats and idiots out there that are going to, like, cherry-pick the rules. But I yeah. I, I personally yeah. feel it's still good to have some rules, you know. To, you know, just the common-sense rules out there. And if you get idiots who go, well, I didn't say like that, then go, well, you're an idiot then, aren't you? Use your goddamn common sense and kick them out, you know. And obviously, it's... It's nice to have an out. We've got to have an out. I think we've we've agreed 100% has to have an out. And yeah. I mean, physical combat, physical, sorry, I should say physicality, because this is most LARP, there's physical combat some way. Yeah. Even hitting yeah. someone just like that, that's physical combat. No, no, that, that, that's physical combat. Yeah. 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 And, uh, when I say physical combat, I'm really talking about something that I'm, I'm, my, I'm not. There's nothing between me and the other person. So I'm not firing a nerf, giving me physical combat to nerf that. I'm not using a latex sword or a buffer weapon. And that the strike the controlled strike there. And I'm not using an airsoft weapon. I'm actually grabbing somebody. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what we've been to. Yeah, just there. And I think it it definitely has a place in LARP. Definitely. In, uh, but it has to be one of those ones where people are expecting it. It's it's done at the front. At the beginning of it, this is more for the for the larger events, you know. That it's expected that certain things could potentially happen, but they have to inform people of how to get out of it if you're not interested and stuff like that. And I think also with the smaller LARPs, you've probably got a bit more freedom on what you can do physicality, yeah. just due to the sheer fact of uh, the knowledge of the other people, the fact that it's smaller and, you know, it's easier to communicate with those people instead of on a field with a thousand other people fighting and, 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 and stuff like that, basically, isn't it? So, yeah, I think that's probably why, you know, so, so, you know, the larger LARPs basically curtail it to that type of yeah. combat because it is far yeah. easier to control, you know, at yeah. the end of the day. I agree. And it's, uh, and it's a bit safer as well yeah. i mean it still doesn't stop idiots sort of uh swiping at my wife's head but uh you, you yeah. can get idiots anyway I that's mean. been quite a bit to do that mind but there we go <laughs> yeah um, so yeah idiots are idiots but hmm I, I i i don't know maybe okay let, let let's throw it out there you know um anybody that's actually watched this video and what have you or had a look at that I know you've already had quite a few replies. Have you been have you been somewhere where they've had a system in place? What was that system? Because uh, we are now, I think, greatly intrigued to find out, you know, how how other places around the world yeah. handle this. Because when it comes to sort of, you know, if we're going to look at the health and safety aspect of it and you're going to talk to a professional about it, what might work in the UK will not work in Sweden, will not work in Australia, will not work in China, for instance. You know, yeah. um, so I, actually, I think that's a good point you just hit on this. Can I just interrupt you a second? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, that's one of the big ones is because we had a number of replies pre pre show. One of the things that's coming up, I think, is that there are without a doubt variations in what people expect from different parts of the world mm. and different cultures which is fine, but here's the issue. If I go to a game in the States, there could be stuff from a UK style of play that really worries American players. Okay. Because they, yeah. they have a tendency to put things in little boxes. You know, you've got your parlor laps, you've got your theatrical laps, you've got your buffer laps. Well, I'm used to laps that are a mixture of all three yeah. simultaneously. So I'm bound to at some point, unless I'm really careful, offend somebody or 
I'll cause somebody a problem. I feel in that case, then it's down to the person that's going, in this case, you, to do the Correct. relevant research of the yeah. game that you're going to. Yeah. I, I, I think, I, I think I you've hit the nail on it, because with international art becoming a bigger thing, and people traveling all over the world to do labs, which is brilliant, we've got to make sure that where you're going, you understand what's expected and what yes. may happen before you even, yeah, before you even travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if, for example, if I went to possibly one of those uh, German or Eastern European labs where they go full on contact and no holds barred, I'm in for a shock if I didn't, you know, <laughs> research that correctly. I'm in oh, for a yeah. big shock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, that's one of the things I liked about uh, Joe Buck Studios mm. when they were running one of their big labs. They opened up a whole mesh of player and ref groups just for that game. So everybody can discuss whatever they want to up front in detail with other players or with organizers. Which yeah. I really like that because mm -hmm. there's no need to hammer out big rule books. Please. There's no need to actually put say no, you can't, yes, you can, no, you can't. More you can evolve the tone of the whole thing between all the people who are going to be involved. Yeah. Agreed. And then and then put out workshops and statements that are the result of that. Yeah. So they're going to be shorter, easier digestible, and better. So I, I really love that idea. Yeah. Agreed. Complete completely agreed. Yeah. It it is it is one of those things that if yeah. I mean, yeah, it right. It's 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 always massively difficult for the larger LARPs. It's simple as that. Yeah. They have a hard time. You know the the smaller LARPs, if you you know if you are going to them, well, you can actually go to the organizer and say, "Look, I'm actually trained in X, Y, and Z." You know, so if you want to use me for something, you know, hash it out in you know beforehand and let let's see what we can do. Um, and you know, they might actually put you with another like-minded uh, nutter um, to go and have something look spectacular because we all want to be entertained. We all want to be entertained at these things. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> yes. Luke, Luke is saying, does, does anyone have a health and safety question? Anyone? Um, what is them? Not a problem. Yeah. Um, I might have pointed out that Luke is a health and safety consultant. If you do have any health and safety questions, you want an answer to right now. Pop yeah. in chat. He doesn't show it. Which is why I was hoping he wouldn't be in London and we could have him on the stream. But there we go. The allure of Londinium was too much. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, th I think it's, it's, I think this is the whole problem with hotels. I mean, me, me and Luke have both had it in the past. You know, you, you book a hotel, the whole says, we have Wi-Fi. You'll try and use the Wi-Fi and go, really? That's Wi-Fi? <laughs> It's he's like going using, back to 56 He's using his own 4G thing for this, mate. He wasn't even using the hotel Wi-Fi. Well, yeah, but but, but but 4G is dependent on, like, building design and architecture. Yeah, yeah exactly. You walk, yeah, it, you walk into the wrong building and it's, it's nothing. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. So um, have we got anything else to add to this, folks? I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, we've yeah. talked about most of I, the stuff. I think I'll be following up the original article. There's been a lot of interesting posts put on Facebook, but I'm going to collate those with people's permission um, just so people can actually have a look at some varying points of view. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that, that, that cross-pollination that cross, that cross between multiple Facebook groups in one place could be really useful. So I'm hoping people will say yes, and I'll get that sorted out if, if they do. Yeah, I mean, I I would say if, if if nothing else, you know, this whole thing has started the discussion, and you know, that's what we kind of like to do here on LARPbook is to start that discussion, get that get that ball rolling, and then you know, people go, oh yeah, no, we've been doing this for years, you know, we've been doing this for years, and and then other other groups go, excellent, I like that system, yeah. you know, and, and that's what we tr you know we try and do. So um, yeah, and, and somebody else might go, are you crazy? That's too dangerous. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and 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 then, and then you can get if it's why it's not too dangerous, or you can go actually maybe a point. Maybe we should actually tone that down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Maybe we should, maybe we should stop firing live arrows into the air. Eh, who knows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I just put one other point forward? Go on. Then. Okay. Not talking about sort of 
personality based laps, which basically laps sort of conversations. So we'll have yeah. to get really physical. And I'm not talking about hand fifty cuffs or handed stuff. I'm talking about ordinary lab weapons or you know, buffer combat, latex yeah. weapon combat. The stuff that happens most of the time in a lot of laps. Okay. Mm-hmm. I would can I just suggest that it's very reasonable that we do everything we can to avoid anybody ever get injured. Mm-hmm. But is it unreasonable to expect there never to be an injury? Because at this point, you're not actually you're what you're actually engaged in is a contact no. sport. No, so it's, I, it's completely I would say, Yeah, I just unreasonable to expect ever expect no injuries, but reasonable yeah. to expect that we'll try to keep it as safe as we can. That, that'd be fair. Yeah, yeah. I I was going to cite football in there then, but I won't because. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! No! Oh, oh, oh why not? They're but they're, they're a bunch of lapers. I, I mean actors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. We just lost half our audience. Um, you know, yeah, football is lap. <laughs> rug, rugby, for instance. You know, rugby. Yeah, it's it's a contact sport. Yeah. Larping is a contact sport. Yeah. The majority of times. So yeah, I mean accidents. You know, and and injuries do happen. Uh, you all know this. How many how many times have I limped off the properly limped off? <laughs> because I've been damaged. Yeah, I mean, uh, we have to go back to common sense. Again, you're yeah. going to a lab. They say there's going to be combat. If you don't want to go in the combat, that's fine. You can yeah. be um, you don't have to be a healer, but there are areas where you can step away and normally for monsters um they're informed ahead of time say like someone okay don't go for these people or don't go for this person because they don't want to be in combat they're they're a non-combatant and um a lot of the time experienced monster i mean you know maybe the in more inexperienced ones wouldn't be but the experienced most monster teams know that um for the people standing back you know maybe the healers or or the scholars or the non-combatants uh, you know, they're not going to be in non-combat. So if you do get through the lines and go to them, you know full well you don't have to hit as hard as you would someone in armor. You can quite easily just go up to them and just go, don't even hit them. Just go, okay, you got hit there. And just, you know, it's well, it, it's simple. You, you know? I mean, I, I know certainly in, uh, in Airsoft and what have you, uh, when they're doing the combat there, if someone is literally on top of someone, you know, they don't fire no. around they just say point blank, but yeah, you know, yeah, point blank. And the guy looks and goes, Oh, shit. <laughs> right, you know, knowing damn well yeah. that's a fatal shot and, and you know, and end, end of story. Um, so yeah, I mean, you could you could easily do that, you know, you could you could go up to someone and not actually, you know, hit them and go fatal blow because yeah. you are on top of the damn, you know, the, yeah, whatever. I think I, I think LARPing has to have a lot of common sense in it, yeah. you know. Yeah. As with most things in life, just use your common sense. I know yeah. many people don't have that much, but come on. Yeah, use come your on. common sense. Just, don't be, just, don't be, just don't be just silly. I, I don't go, oh, the rule says I can do that. Maybe I should. Oh, I I no, 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 no. It's, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Yeah. Just think of it this, this Just think of it this way. Would you like it done to you if the answer is no? Then don't do it to somebody else. Mm. That mm. doesn't work a lot of times with me, but <laughs> you know, um that that is the rule of thumb for most people. Yeah. yeah. So we happy guys? Have, 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 yeah. have, have, have we yeah. there's there's probably so much more we could talk about. Oh, I, I, th- I think it's a big topic, and I think it's gonna be I think on the page um on the website it's gonna run a little bit, but uh I think for tonight we don't we don't be okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean I mean to, to be honest with you, I, I think probably at some point we should probably get somebody in. Who has a system like this and talk about? Yeah, what, you know, you know, or, or even from competing point of view, I'd like to see a couple of different lap organizers from different styles have a chat about this. Mm. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll we'll see if we can arrange something. So there you go. If you if you run a lap or have been to a lap and you know the rule system uh, of how they handle real physical uh, combat uh, or intimidation or what have you. Then get in touch with the show, show at gmail.com. Let us know you do it. Perhaps we'll get you on the show uh, and see what happens from there. Um, so I think that's probably about it, I would have thought, guys. Okay. Uh, 
So, uh, so again, if you'd like to get in contact with the show, just email LARPbookshow at gmail.com. Is there a topic you would like us to discuss or something cool you saw or fancy writing an article for the website? Then email the show, LARPbookshow at gmail.com. Um, as per usual, music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Uh, should you want to help out the show, why not pop across to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash LARPbook. Just a dollar a month really helps us out. Uh, there is a shop, and we've now got that up on the LARPbook site itself. So why not buy some wonderful swag and help us out as well? You can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Twitch, Podbean, just about anywhere that you get podcasts. We're there. Just search for LARPbook and you'll find us. Uh, go across to the website, LARPbook.com. News, reviews, and wonderful stuff there. You can obviously follow us on Facebook. If you're watching this now, you know that already. Twitter, Google+. Plus. Just search for LARPbook. And don't forget, you know, if you have enjoyed the show, give us a five-star review on iTunes or whatever else allows you to give us reviews. And that really helps out the show. So uh, it's a fantastically good night from me or goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from Rob. Goodbye from Tom. And when he is in, it would have been goodbye from Luke. So, uh, Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye.